So, um, um, do you ever think about extinction or mass extinction? Uh, yeah, on a pretty regular basis. So you probably more than me. <laughs> I mean, um, the Colorado is kind of an interesting place for all that. I think um, between the fact that if we happen to do it to ourselves, I think we're pretty safe here. But um, yeah, except no, if Yellowstone goes right. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, as far as Mother Earth taking us out, I don't think we have any defense against that anyways, but uh, I'm from the East Coast, which is increasingly going further and further underwater every year, so global warming and things like that, so it's uh, certainly something that I think about on a regular basis. Uh, so what, what, what kind of, um, the show really is trying to emerge these conversations so we can all be thinking about it mm -hmm. more on a moment-to-moment -moment basis where... The difference can be really made in our lives. And so what I'm working to bring forward is what kind of inner work can we really be doing that can make a difference? And as well as acting, but how to put those two together. Well, um, like I said, I mean, Mother Mother Earth, if she decides to take us out, is, is not going to be anything really we can do about that necessarily, like if Yellowstone blows. But as, as far as, you know, maybe helping not wipe out each other, uh, maybe bridge conversations have oh i know have uh, have more conversations between people you know um try to build relationships in a in a healthy way um all the things going on in the world right now it would be really nice if we could stop and breathe and maybe have a conversation um because that's the only thing i think that's going to save us is is talking but um so what do you want to say i mean you're saying it right but also is there anything you want to say that's even more direct well I think we really, really just need to stop and, and understand that we're all incredibly different, but very, very similar people that all can get along very easily right. uh, if we just stop and breathe and, and have that conversation for a second. And that there are a lot of things in this world that try to separate us, but we can really, really come together if we just spend the time and just put a little bit of effort into it. Just a little. I completely agree. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So what arises for you as I... I mean, I think the only thing that I would change from Josh's answers or just add on to is that differences aren't necessarily a bad thing. They just mean that we can have a conversation and learn and develop as people. So the differences aren't necessarily a block. They're just kind of interesting stepping stones to a better understanding. And so what kind of work are you doing in your life that um, I would like you to, say, to transform? Um, you know, I used to be very active in college, working to bring up issues that globally separate us. Um, I would, I'm really proud of my boyfriend, actually, who works to do sustainable living, and he works in the nonprofit sector, which is something I wish I could say for myself. Um, but I teach, and I really try to help kids come to a better understanding together instead of having these differences and kind of blocking heads and being rude to each other to come to an understanding that we're all people and that... Differences aren't necessarily a terrible thing. They're actually a good thing. Right, which is really important work, having nonviolence in our day-to-day -day lives, in our schools. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you can understand how to work with people and how to be more compassionate and more understanding, I mean, you can take that from when you're 9 to when you're 90. And that, that helps. You know, every little bit helps. It's yeah. not one dramatic change. It's those tiny changes that really make a difference. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, of course. <laughs>